Hi guys, and welcome to another one of my lipstick declutters. Today we are tackling pinks, roses, and corals. So lots of different undertones in here. I do like pink roses and corals. It's maybe not my go-to shade the way that some of my nudes are, but there's definitely some colors in here that I really love. So we're going to approach this like we have past declutters. We're gonna kind of divide them out by formula. We're gonna look at different colors, make sure we're not keeping duplicate shades, make sure nothing has gone off, and then kind of divide them into three bits trash for things that are just expired or not working anymore, donate for things that are definitely donatable, to like lipsticks, standard tube lipsticks that can be donated, and then there will be some trash bins for things that are liquid lipsticks that just can't be donated that I just don't want to keep because I feel like my collection's too big. So unfortunately there is with products like this, things more products that end up in the trash than I typically like in my declutters, but you can't sanitize a liquid lipstick, so unfortunately that is my only option. Uh, I'm gonna lay these out. There's quite a few colors in here. It's a full bin. It's like usual. We've got lots of colors to go through. Let's get these laid out. Okay guys, so not everything is fitting on the screen perfectly, but I definitely wanted to do some organizing by color first because there is such a wide range of colors in this collection. So I've got rosy shades here. I've got more pink toned shades here. I've got corals here, and then I've got hot, hot pinks down here. So some of those brighter, more fuchsia colors. So there's a few oddball products that I want to address quickly before we get through here. One, another lip palette I'm decluttering. I just never use this. I don't even know why I bought it. It's gotta go. I don't love lip palettes. And then these two, Wet and Wild, I, I put them in here because I didn't know where else to put them. They're like transforming lipsticks. So this one's sort of a bluish one that transforms purple. And this is one that transforms pink. Eh, I'm never gonna use these. These are gonna go. All right, so this little section here is corals. I feel like I've got corals that are sheer and I really do like a nice sheer coral lipstick. So this is Sunset Cruise, this is Burt's Bees. I think this is the only Burt's Bees I have left at this point. Um, it's a nice formula. I don't know if it's my favorite. Um, so we'll have to see if I have other colors kind of like that. This is a brighter coral. This is part of the L'Oreal line. This is the shade Luminous Coral. Those color reshines are absolutely stunning. That's a definitely a much brighter, more vivid coral. This is a MAC. This is a cream sheen. This is Coral Bliss. Little lighter and paler than that one. This is a butter lipstick. This is in the shade Fizzies. I think this one's gonna be a little more pinky. Yeah, it's definitely more of a pinky coral. This is NYX Plush Gel Lipstick in 06 Coral Mist. That's a very bright, almost neon coral. This is one I think is from Etude House. This is one I picked up in Korea. I can't remember the brand name, but it is more of a balm-like, and that is almost more pink than anything. This is from a brand called EcoSoul. This is their Kiss Button Lip. Uh, also picked this up in Korea. It is not my favorite packaging because you have to push the button to kind of get more up. I don't know, I prefer things that twist up and down. That's a little sheer and more balm-like as well. So as you can see, I like a balmy coral lipstick, but I don't need to keep all these. I feel like these brighter hot pink shades are just not my favorite kind of coral. They're just too bright too intense. That was this one here. So we'll pass on that. Fizzies from Butter or from NYX, the Butter Lipstick. I don't think I'm going to wear these two shades, so let's pass those on. Um, I know I love these two corals here. So the Cream Sheen from MAC in um, Coral Bliss and then the Coral Shade from L'Oreal. Those are awesome. I'm keeping those for sure. I also look at this and I feel like this is a more neutrally coral. So I still think I want to keep this Burt's Bees one. This is very neon-y, not my favorite color. I think I'm going to pass this plush on. I did like this formula, but maybe not this color. And I think I want to keep this little Eco Soul one here down at the end. So these are some lipstick formulas. This is e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Coral Cutie. So now we're actually into true bright coral lipsticks. And then I've got two of these matte lipsticks from e.l.f. This is Catwalk Orange, which I feel like is more, I mean, it's kind of coral, but it's also more of a rusty nude. And this is Hot Commodity, which is more of that bright, neon pinky coral. I've got this shade from MUA Makeup Academy. This is Coral. Um, I did really like this shade quite a bit. It's more of a muted coral. 
And then this is one of the Buxom Plump line in Ransom. This one is more of an apricot. In fact, I probably could have put that in my nudes section. So in looking at those, I can pass on this sort of hot pink coral. I don't care for it. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this moisturizing lipstick either. I feel like when I want this color, I prefer a sheer formula. I think I would reach for this L'Oreal one over this one. I would wanna keep this one and this one. These last two I think are really pretty. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that one too. I think that might be nice for fall. It's not maybe as coral as I thought it was, but it's a really cool color. Now, one thing I'm gonna do a little differently in this video, if you've watched my past ones, I would typically go through all of these and then I would do a separate round of liquid lipsticks. I have liquid lipsticks sitting over here to the side. There's not as many of them. So I think what I want to do is kind of after we get done swatching for calorie, I'll pull in any lipsticks that are kind of in that color category. All right, just a couple here. This one probably should have been in my nudes. This is Charlotte Tilbury's liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Rising Star. Um, it's a very moussey texture. I guess that's a little corally. Um, the color is pretty. I don't like this formula at all. It's very drying. It's kind of cracky. I just not a fan of this formula. So I'm going to pass that along. This is a Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Baja Bound. It is very, very bright coral. But as with, I think, almost all of my liquid lipsticks, it has completely dried out. I'm, I'm sorry, all of my Smashbox liquid lipsticks completely dried out. I don't know if I'll be purchasing this formula anymore because I just feel like I get not a lot of time with them. I don't even think this is a year old. So that is gonna go. And then this is the Energy Peach Matte Juicy Shaker. This one is really pretty and it is a really nice coral. I do like these matte juicy shakers, so I do think I'm going to keep this one. All right, let's finish up with this front row. So this little collection here is kind of my hot pink lipsticks. Um, I don't have a ton of hot pink lipstick. I do enjoy it, especially in the summertime, but I don't feel like I need a zillion colors in this. Um, this is Lacquered Strawberry. This is one I recently picked up from the L'Oreal Color Reshine line. Really pretty. I've reached for this several times this summer. Such a comfortable formula. Um, this is a Matte X in the shade Poppin. This is their most dried down, very matte lip. So make sure you exfoliate before you use, but it's highly, highly pigmented. One that I think is a very similar formula is from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade Candy Venom. I got like a little sample of this. I'm curious. Yeah, it's a little brighter, but it's that same very dry matte formula. I feel like um, the Fenty Beauty formula is different from shade to shade. That's been my opinion. This is another bright. This is Sweet Pink. This is one of the NYX matte lip creams. This one is a little bit more purpley orchid undertone to it. And then this is also more purpley orchid undertone. This is Gin Fizz from Bite. So very similar shade, just maybe a slightly lighter color and a little, well, gosh, those are very similar, very similar. Hmm. All right. And then last hot pink I have here is the Queen. This one is a bright raspberry pink color, very similar to that matte X formula down there. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Don't feel like I need all three of these. I feel like this shade, I really just need one of and I'll be quite happy. So I think I'm gonna keep the queen. I really did enjoy the shade quite a bit and of the formula. I think I like this formula the best. So I'm gonna pass these two on. I'm gonna keep my L'Oreal one. I like the shine. I like it that it's a little sheer. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then now that I'm looking at these, I feel like I need to keep one or the other, not both. I mean, this one from NYX is definitely brighter and more vivid, and this one's a little softer. I don't know, I've been really, I was really good decluttering. I think I'm gonna keep both of these. I do like these quite a bit. All right, so I have two liquidy type lipsticks over there, both from ColourPop. This purpley shade has a really interesting, almost blue shift to it. This is the Rabbit. It really is almost like orchid purple undertone so kind of similar to these but a little bit deeper i do like the rabbit quite a bit and then this is color pop in mucho which i think is going to be a very comparable color to the queen but just in a liquid lipstick form it almost looks like strawberry red but yeah i feel like it's a very similar color to the queen just more in a liquid lipstick formula so i do think i'm going to keep both of these i do like a satiny type of formula for some of these brights um, they kind of lock down into place a little bit so yeah let's keep those i feel like these are more of liquid lipstick formats of 
couple of shades that I liked and kept. Okay, so now we have roses and we have lighter pinks. I probably should have waited to swatch those brighter pinks until the end because I forgot how much all of those kinds of colors tend to stain. So my arm is kind of stained at this point. I've tried to wash it off. It's as good as it's gonna get. Um, let's do these rosy ones first. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of duplicates down here and I like a good rosy shade, but I don't need 50 of them. So this is Ravishing Rose from e.l.f. This is one of their moisturizing lipsticks. This is one of the e.l.f. little studio lipsticks, I think. I'm not sure what they call these. In the shade Posh, I'm not even sure they make these anymore. That is very, very, very similar to one another. This is Beautifully Bare from e.l.f. This is Touch of Rose, no, Touch of Blush, rather. A little more muted, really nice moisturizing formula, as is this, so the L'Oreal. This is Burnished Blush. Such a nice formula. Love that color. Um, I'm gonna jump down here because this is another hydrating one. This is from Hera. This is a very high-end Korean brand. Packaging is beautiful. Has kind of this little stripey effect to the lipstick. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But it is a very balmy, comfortable lipstick. Very similar formula, I feel like, to these L'Oreal ones. This is from Lorac. This is the shade Celine. It was in a Christmas kit that I got. It's a very intense rose. This is Ghosted from ColourPop Lux. Yeah, I knew I was gonna have some really similar shades here. Let's grab this. This is Walk of Shame. A little more muted. Katie Cat Matte in the shade Cat Men. Cat Calm Meow Mene, quite the name. That one's a little bit brighter. This is Flower Beauty Berry Amour. Though it said berry, I felt like it was more of a muted rose color. A couple color pop lippy sticks. This is the shade Aftershock. The shade Frida, which I don't think you can get anymore. That's more pink, isn't it? Hmm. All right, we're gonna wipe Frida off. We're gonna look at Frida with the pinks. Um, this is a Bite Crayon in Rhubarb. This has gotten lots of love. It's been in my collection for quite a while. And then this is a Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade Voltage. Uh, that needs to be in my pinks too. Moving that back. All right, so that is what we are working with for rosy shades. All right, let's start with some of these more muted roses because I feel like I've got three that are more muted. These three here are all very muted and very similar to one another. Um, I've had this bite one for a thousand years, so I am going to pass this one on. This is the Flower Beauty one, and this is the one from Charlotte Tilbury, Walk of Shame. This is more rosy, this one is more brownish toned. I do like muted roses, so I do think I'm gonna keep both of those. I think I'm gonna pass on this Katie Cat CoverGirl formula. I kept it because I thought the shade was unique, but I've not been reaching for it, and I think I mentioned this in a Pat video. I'm just not a huge fan of the CoverGirl matte lipstick. The formula feels, I don't know, almost gritty to me, just not a favorite. I also feel like I need to choose between these two here. So the ColourPop shade in Ghosted and the Celine shade are super similar, actually, as is the first shade here, Ravishing Rose from e.l.f. I don't need all three of those. So, oh, actually, and this e.l.f. one here. So these two and these two are just too similar. I think I just want to keep one of them. And I think after swatching them, I think I like this Lorac one the most. So I'm going to keep that and get rid of these three. I like this barely blushing shade here. It's, it's a muted color, but it's really hydrating. I've really enjoyed this bare, beautifully bare formula. I think I'm gonna keep the L'Oreal one. I can't get rid of any of those, I feel like. This Hera one has good sentimental value to me as well, and it's definitely the lightest sort of pinky tone shade. It's different than these. And then this ColourPop shade in Aftershock down here is stunning. I really did enjoy that. So I think I will keep these four. All right, some liquid lipsticks that I feel like fit into this rosy type category. This is another Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Blast Off. Like the ones we've been talking about, it is totally dried out. So gotta go. These I wanna swatch. This is the L'Oreal Infallible in Nude Allure. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in, I don't remember, I think this came in a boxy charm. It's old packaging, but the color was really pretty. Yeah, that's a nice rosy color there. And then this is the Ultra Satin shade in Mrs. from ColourPop. 
This one I feel like is gonna be a lot warmer. Probably should have been in my nudes section. I feel like I kept a lot of nudes in this kind of color, so I think I'm gonna pass that on. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep these two. This is a liquefied lipstick and that is a liquid lipstick, so I feel like I have one in each category there. So passing on this one, keeping these two. All right, and now we have pinks. So there's gonna be some mid-tone pink, some cooler pink, some lighter pinks. I feel like I'm just gonna to have to swatch them. I don't wanna do any more sorting. So this is Frida from ColourPop. It's more of a corally pink, I would say a warm pink. Um, this is from L'Oreal. This is their La Lac color in, guys, I have no idea what color this is. It does not say anywhere on here. I don't know if the sticker fell off. Um, it's definitely more of a muted pink. In fact, I probably could have put that in my nude section. This is Simply Pink by NYX. It's one of their jumbo pencils that actually has good pigmentation. It's a very cool toned pink. I really like that. Um, in fact, let's grab some other cool toned pinks while we're at it. I am gonna jump around a little bit. This is the shade Nocturnal Rose from Maybelline, it was one of their matte formulas, and yep, that's what I thought. I thought it was gonna be a very similar shade to that NYX pink. This is more of a cream, that's more of a matte. I do like those cooler toned pinks sometimes. This is Money Side Up from ColourPop. More of a true pink is what I would say. Tarte Lip Sculptor in Voltage, we moved that up from below. Definitely one of those warmer pinks. Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Lipstick. This is more of a sheer, but it's definitely more of that warm pink undertone. This is from Hourglass. This is the shade Creator. These are definitely very hydrating. I don't know if they're completely worth the price, to be honest, but they're definitely hydrating and comfortable to wear. This is Almond Rose. This is a matte shade from Maybelline. A little bit deeper, a little more muted. These are a couple from Revlon. So this is the shade Primrose, which is kind of a light, kind of Max Snob sort of color. I don't own Max Snob anymore. Um, and this, this is the shade Barely Pink. This is from their Color Charge line. This one has a slight shift to it, but it's a really pretty muted pink. I did like that one quite a bit. This is the shade Nectar Pink. This is from Julep. It's one of their It's Balms really comfortable. This is a MAC Huggable Lip Color. I don't even know if they make these anymore. This is the shade Bonsai Bloom. It's really sheer, but it's really comfortable. It's almost like a chapstick, to be honest. This is MAC Mare. Oh, I'm running out of space. So that's a deeper, more dusty pink. That could have possibly been in my mid-tone nudes, to be honest. This is Sparkling Rose from L'Oreal. And Matte 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 from Essence 03. That may have been a rosy shade versus pink. And then this is a baby fig from Bite. All right, so lots of colors up and down the arms here. Um, I definitely feel like I've got warm tone pinks, more neutrally pinks, and then some cool tone pinks. My cool tone pinks are definitely this lightest shade Primrose here from Revlon along with these two here, NYX and the matte shade, matte X shade from Maybelline. I think I'm gonna pass the Revlon one. I think it's just gonna be a little too light. I like a little bit of depth in my cool tone pinks, but I feel like I wanna keep these two. One is a very, very matte formula and one is just a more comfortable, easy wearing cream formula. So I do think I wanna keep these two. All right, I feel like I've got a lot of this sort of sheer, mid-toned warm pink color. So I've got this one here. I've got this julep one. I've got this MAC Huggable one, this Hourglass Lip Stilo one, this Neutrogena one. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the MAC Huggable one. I don't think they even make this formula anymore. And I feel like I've got color tinted lip balms that I actually like better than this. So I don't feel like there's a whole lot of point in me keeping that when it really is just like a barely tinted lip balm. I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand just to give me a little bit of refresh. Those four are pretty much identical to one another. I'm gonna pass the Neutrogena one along. It's the one I care the least about. I am gonna pass the Hourglass one along. I think a friend would really, really enjoy that. And if I'm gonna keep two, because I feel like I'm going to, I'm gonna keep the two that I feel like I'm most like passionate about, and that's the Julep It's Balm and the little L'Oreal one. So I'm gonna give this really expensive Hourglass one to a friend. Fig is pretty, it's tiny and bite-sized, but I feel like this matte shade here in 
Almond Rose from Maybelline is pretty much the same shade. So I'm gonna pass on the Bite one. I'm gonna keep the Maybelline one. I do think I'm gonna keep this Barely Pink shade from Revlon. It's really pretty and I think a little bit unique. This little L'Oreal Lalique, I feel like it's pretty. It probably should have been in my nudes collection and I have a lot of nudes this color. I feel like after swatching them all, so I'm gonna pass that on. Frida, I just really like this color. It's just a bright, happy pink that's warm and pretty. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. I do feel like it is very similar now that I look at it to this Tarte Lip Sculptor. Yeah, that's like super similar. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Frida and pass on the Tarte. All right, what I have left is this Essence shade in 03. I have got Mac Mare in the middle and then I've got Money Side Up from ColourPop. This is just not a pinky color that I'm gonna wear a ton. So I'm gonna pass this on to a friend who I think is gonna enjoy wears more pinky tones than me. So I think she'll enjoy that. And I think I'm gonna keep these two. I have four sort of pinky liquid lipsticks here. Um, I think three of these are gonna be very similar. This is a very old shade from Sephora. It has a little bit of a metallic shift to it. Um, so it's pink. I don't know, I love this color. I don't feel like they make it anymore. And although it is slightly metallic, every time I put this on my lips, I just feel like my skin looks so bright and healthy and, I don't know, this is just a really good color on me. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, these three here, so this is another Sephora lip stain. This is the shade 06. Nice, soft, muted pink there. A little bit of a bluish undertone. This is Julep, this is Orchid. I feel like some of these are starting to dry out. Yeah, that one's drying out and I don't know if that's my favorite color either, to be honest. And this is a NYX Slip Tease. This is in the shade 03 uh, Seductor or Koi, one of the two, has both shown there. And that is just too much of a Barbie pink for me. Like that one is more muted and that's just, I don't know, too Barbie for me. So I think I'm gonna pass these two on and keep these two. All right guys, so here is what I am keeping. Here is what I'm getting rid of. It's actually kind of a fairly even split. I ended up keeping 34 and getting rid of 29. So that's 46%, but I feel like I have kind of four distinct color categories in here from hot pinks to more pale nude pinks to roses to um, corals. So, you know, when I look at that, I think 34 divided by four different shade ranges it's still a lot of lipstick, but I'm feeling okay about it, I guess is what I would say. So uh, gonna go through these, find some new homes for the ones that I didn't care for or that I think uh, are duplicative in my collection. And we will move on to some more lipstick colors in my next declutter. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.